Well, he's got a key to the city of Lafayette, Louisiana, but with the present company, Daniel Cormier here, I'm not sure I'm gonna go so far as to call him the king of Lafayette, but Dustin Poirier has become a UFC champion, and he remains one of the best lightweights in the world. If he's not the king of Lafayette, he's one of the kings of the UFC's lightweight division. A phenomenal striker, has such great boxing, big, strong, long arms, and an ability to fight through so much adversity to try and accomplish his goals. He's one of the most excited fighters in the lightweight division, but also has the ability to knock you out and just out grind you over 25 minutes. And at times competing as a featherweight, he was almost a victim of his own success. He did so well that he stayed down there. Of course, since moving up to 155 pounds, he has put his best foot forward, and he draws yet another elite lightweight in this spot tonight. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, I'm Bruce really Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Steps inside the octagon, he is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dustin the Diamond Boyer. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. Oh, well, Dustin Poirier is back, told us in the fighter meeting that he wanted to get the hands going in this matchup and we'll see if he can follow suit on that. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, lifted a little bit, trying to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, the high kick lands. All right, so one minute into the fight, certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect than action, at least thus far. Yeah, boo, I'm booing, I'm booing. I'm not even, I'm proud. I gotta catch myself. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, man, it's a video game. Somebody do something. Go forward and fight. Oh, my goodness. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Finds a home for that left hook. Power right hand there from the King of Lafayette. 
at Louisiana, Dustin Poirier, Mike Brown there in the corner has really honed Dustin's all-around game, and he certainly finds himself in the middle of his fighting prime. Oh, nice little right hook there. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, he just missed on that overhand left. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Forge. Poirier going for the takedown here, but he misses. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Fast jab lands it. He's on wobbly legs now. Oh, collar tie. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Final seconds of round one. on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. You can take this guy down, but you gotta do it the right way. You can't just shoot in on him. You gotta start. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Nice job to land the front kick there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Whiffs on that offering. Nice shot there by the champ. Big power shot there. The biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. He's just back. Take your time, relax, breathe. And relax, Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Poirier. Doubling up on the jab. Oh! Big shot. Oh. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say... His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing for people to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Back to his feet. They're being thrown on both sides. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again? Here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks 
because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so there's the end of the round. Listen, you've got a tough exactly. job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. He's Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they wanted to take a step back. This is the exact type of fight they expected and the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Beautiful hook. Visibly limping here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Leg kick is there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Right on the button. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Lee. Poirier's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh! That'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case in this one. How about Bruce Lee?